Look, it's your boy from the morning, and you're bringing you my top five ways to make sure you don't miss play while playing the video. Starting off with my number five way, basically keeping calm. Keeping calm is important when you're playing Yu-Gi-Oh! because if you're playing the game when you're stressed out, irritated, and you're planning on a big event, you're going to be worried about your main issue rather than thinking about the game state, which will cause you misplay, and you're truly not really care about the game. I know firsthand because I've been through it, I went through events, pissed the hell off, and I did horrible. So keeping calm is definitely at number five. Coming down at number four is alertness while being at the event. Alertness basically means like get some caffeine in your system because you're going to be there all day, sometimes eight to nine, even ten hours for you California players. So if you don't like coffee, just get an energy drink. So an energy drink, get a coffee pill or something because me personally, I need my coffee every day and I can't go to an event without being alert because the caffeine will keep you more focused and it puts you in a better game state while playing, making sure you Keeping your mid so minimal, so keep your alertness up is really good. Hydration and proper eating. Okay, I'm gonna touch on the proper eating first. For, for, for number four pick. Me for the number three pick. For hydration, basically drink tons and tons of water. Preferably post you drinking your caffeine or energy drink. Mainly because the caffeine and energy drink, why it's gonna give you a boost of energy. It's gonna to give you an energy spike. It's going to basically make you crash a little bit. You'll still have the energy, but you're going to be a little more tired and you'll be dehydrated. So keeping up maybe one or two bottles of water on you at all times will keep your dehydration to a minimum, if not at all, completely dismiss it. And it'll make you more alert because the more water, our body's made 70% of water or higher than that. Mainly made of water and keeping you a lot of water in your body will keep your organ function properly and make you think a whole lot better and faster. Proper eating before a big event is also, big, it's also important because getting a good breakfast for a big event is important. Like for example, some car, some good carbs and a good amount of protein in the morning, preferably a fish type of protein. You guys know what a carb is. Carb is short for carbohydrates, which basically carbohydrates are what gives our body energy to do things throughout the day. So with enough carbohydrates, like for example, banana, some oatmeal, whole wheat bread, with a good amount of carbohydrates in your system, food fueling your body with natural energy, and a good amount of protein, like chicken, preferably tuna, because tuna has the omega-3, which will help your brain function a lot better, or some type of fish, like tilapia. A good high protein, high carb breakfast is a must for any big event play, or if you're taking your levels a lot of therapy because you'll be energized throughout the day, you won't be worried about getting food, so you won't be hungry. So definitely high carb, high protein breakfast. Number two thing, sleep. I cannot stress enough how much sleep is important. I've gone to events tired, and I'm not gonna lie, why being, why being sleepy kind of pissed me on edge because I work best on the pressure. At the same time, it, it hurts because I went to one regional for I was two hours of sleep and I did terrible. Mainly because I was halfway asleep through my games so I couldn't focus properly. So getting at least eight to nine hours of sleep will really help really help hit the trick because in my next regional because I was well I was energized, I was up and I was more alert. Plus with with my caffeine and my me being hydrated, I was ready for the event, ready to make a misplay. And my final thing, obviously, is play testing and knowing your rules, which is the number one thing. Testing a deck for at least two or three weeks, preferably two or three months, before going to the event is very important because if you don't play test your deck, you're not going to know what to do. I know a lot of people who will play the same deck for maybe a month or two, and then they'll change it and come reading time to play a quote unquote meta deck the last second they scrub out. If you play test with a deck, you know the ends are out of a deck. You know what to do in certain situations, so your misplay shouldn't really come at all, especially if you follow my other four steps. And knowing your rules is also important too, because if you don't know your rules, like 
chain links, and a lot of my book camera goes inside your deck, then you're going to have a hard time. It happened to me a lot. So that's something I got to stress on myself to ignore my rules before going to a big event because if you don't know your certain rules for certain decks, you're going to do one thing, the guest is going to come over and he's going to tell you it's another, and it's really going to screw your day up and make you not want to play anymore. Well, guys, this is Yepo21 with your top five ways on how not to misplay with Yu-Gi-Oh. Rate, comment, subscribe. Yepo21, and I'm out.